So I've been having a look at Piano Tech's latest piano, which is a beautiful concert Beckstein. Um, I've played quite a lot of Becksteins over the years. Beautiful pianos. They, they I, I almost prefer them to Steinways. Steinways are my, my favourite pianos, but Becksteins have got this amazing kind of uh, sweetness and, and beauty of tone that's, that's that's very special to them. So they're kind of my my, my second favourite. I also very much like Blutner. There's a beautiful Blutner uh, concert piano in in in, in Piano Tech as well. There is always a slight problem for me playing say a Blutner or a Beckstein on my Roland piano which seems to fit the Steinway better the way the action feels. So, so bearing in mind that the action doesn't fully match the beautiful sound of the Beckstein I'm going to play you some, play some music and give you a chance to, to hear how glorious it can be. I think the Beckstein is often associated with, as I say, with sweetness and sort of beauty of tone. So it's very suitable for, for you know, the likes of Grieg or, or, or Ravel, that kind of very sweet, rich sound that, that sounds so good in, in that kind of music. Beautiful, isn't it? It's got this kind of oh, I don't, words are very difficult for, for this kind of thing, but kind of almost sugary. But that that sounds too negative. Its its sweetness is just so so delicious. It's also Bechstein's are also very good at producing a kind of um, light sort of brilliance, a kind of. You might sort of associate with, with I don't know, Bartok or Prokofiev. It's got this this incisiveness to the tone even though even though it's got this warmth and softness as well and, and it's all there it's all kind of captured amazingly well in in this model a piece that um i like playing a lot is ravel's gaspar de la nuit and if i'm honest if i ever get the chance to play that on a beautiful bechstein piano i would i'll play the opening of Ondine, but it's probably difficult for me to, to, to get the sounds out of the piano with with the rather heavier action as i was saying before but It'll give you some idea. So really, the instrument really sort of um, flourishes in the, in the, the, the del delicacy of tone in that sort of upper middle area, but all through the whole range of the instrument. There's this kind of special quality, and when you, when you compare it to the different pianos, the, the, the character is really strongly different, and this is, this is the thing that I really love about Piano Tech now, is that there isn't a kind of generic 
sound. Each piano seems to have its own very, very strong, unique character, and, and this one is certainly no exception. It's really, really, really beautiful.